Hi there, this is Jordan Goldmeyer, and I'm here to talk to you about the three amazingly awesome benefits to building dashboards with Microsoft Excel. You might be wondering who I am. Well, I speak around the country on topics of Microsoft Excel development, business analytics, and data science. I've also written two books, Advanced Excel Essentials and Dashboards for Excel. And finally, I'm a Microsoft MVP, and I have been for the last four years. But who am I really? Well, I'm just your typical average Joe, celebrating a Cavaliers win over the Warriors. But no, really, I'm actually someone just like you. I'm a business analyst. I'm a data scientist. I'm someone who gets their hands dirty with data, and I bet you are too. So let's talk about those three amazingly awesome benefits to building dashboards with Excel. So here they are. First, you're going to become a data expert. And that doesn't just mean an expert in using Excel, you're going to really understand data. And that's going to be very important for you. Next, you're going to save your company money, real money. And finally, you're going to become a hero, a true hero. And you'll see what I mean. I really mean you will be a hero. So let's talk about that first benefit, the data expertise. Well, we know Excel is everywhere. That's sort of the obvious aspect to this. If you learn a tool that everyone has, then you're always going to be indispensable. Now this may seem like a pie in the sky ideal, but the reality is I've never had trouble getting a job because of my expertise in Excel. Because it's everywhere and because it's always needed, I've always been able to find work. But more than that, you're gonna learn the best ways to present data. So before, if we're talking about mastering Excel as a tool, you're really going to master the best ways to present data as a tool as well in your presentations to really drive change in your organization. And that's actually really important because you want your data visualizations and your work to communicate the underlying problem. You don't want to make it messy with data and you don't want to make it overly complicated. Once you learn the best ways, you'll be known for the data visualization expert in your office. Next, and very much related, you're going to learn the best ways to summarize data. I'm not talking about using averages, maxes, mins, things like that. I'm talking about a true summary of the underlying problem that is manifest of the data that you're using. That's a real skill. It's not something that you necessarily learn step by step. It's something that you can learn by immersing yourself in this work and understanding some theory in using dashboards and developing dashboards. And once you understand that, once you've developed work, that can drive change, that helps you monitor a complex process, you're going to set yourself apart. And this is really important because even though many of us know Excel, only a few people are experts in it. Like I said, anyone can actually learn this, but few people do. By choosing to learn more about Excel and more about dashboards, particularly made in Excel, you're really going to set yourself apart in your organization. You'll see that people will seek you out, people above you, and people below you because they'll want to know how you did what you did and they're going to want your advice and guidance on how they can develop things like you. Second, this is so important to organizations, you're going to save them money. Now here's the easy one, right? Excel is inexpensive, so we're not talking about Tableau, we're not talking about a cloud service here where you have to pay an enormous subscription fee. Excel is inexpensive. Many organizations have it. So you're not really begging your company to install something new. But more than that, more than that, you're going to teach them new insights. A new insight isn't just an idea. It's something that will help drive strategy. It's something that maybe there is a problem in the process that you never knew about. Next, you're going to show process improvements. These process improvements might save your organization a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of effort, and a lot of resources. It might prevent them from hiring someone they don't need or investing in a t technology that they don't require. I can't stress to you enough how important process improvements are, and you're going to be able to help uncover them with your skills developing dashboards with Microsoft Excel. And finally, you're going to get your organization to invest in data. This is very important. Why? Because data is what will help you drive change. So the success of your work is going to prove how important data is. The people, again, above you and below you, they're going to understand what data is, and you'll bring your organization closer to becoming data driven and data savvy. Think about that. You can lead change from where you are. And all of that comes into this idea of becoming a real data hero. Again, I know you're scratching your head. You're wondering, how can I do this? Well, it's really simple. You're going to save the world. Don't worry, no pressure. I know, I know. You're wondering, how can I do this? Well, I'll give you a really quick example to drive this point home. So let's think back to the mortgage crisis, 2006, 2007. We had these things called collateralized debt obligations. Those were the financial derivatives that ultimately were responsible 
for tanking our global economy. Now think about that for a second, because what was the problem here? Well, we had developed models, right? We developed data models to help understand these financial derivatives, and the models themselves were wrong. Now it's very interesting they were wrong. You have to consider the people who developed these financial products. They were actually very smart people, right? They were people who used the best technology available. They were people who were PhDs in physics and mathematics and statistics, and yet the work that they developed was still wrong. Now that's actually something uh, to think about because why would they develop wrong work? Well, there was a lot of money behind their work, right? There was a lot of investment in the technology that they used, and there was a lot of pressure to present answers that seemed in keeping with what management wanted to hear. So in learning how to develop dashboards in Excel, you're going to learn how to develop the tool, but you're also going to learn how to cut through the noise, right? Because the thought here is that these were the smartest people in the world, and yet they were still wrong. If you know and understand data visualization, you know and understand data principles and how to summarize data, you can prevent that from happening. But more to the point, when you invest a lot of money on technology, it's hard to turn your back on it. We all remember the big BI vendor platform that takes three years to install, and we can't even remember why we installed it, the problem we were trying to fix. In fact, the problem became installing that piece of software. Excel allows us to do things like create dashboards actually very quickly when that problem is still very real and we haven't forgotten about it. We can actually meet the problem with data and solve it. And more to that, we don't have that bias of investing a lot of money in our work, and we're smarter about it because we understand data and we understand data visualization. Now I know what you're wondering, can I really do this? Well of course you can. You can become a data hero, you can become a dashboard expert. You can help drive change in your organization. You have to start somewhere and when you learn, you grow. So what did you think? Let us know in the comments and thank you so much for watching our presentation. Until next time, keep on excelling.